What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. Um, I've been a little MIA, but I'm, I'm back down like smack down. Um, I'm going to be doing some elemental readings. I'm on the air signs. I'm curious to the Gemini. Let's see what the messages are. Hope everyone is doing well. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, check out the About section of the channel for more information. All right, get out of there. You're doing too much. What are the messages for Aquarius for Gemini? A young female, and you have dating claims. Someone want to take you on a date, or do you guys want to ask someone on a date? We have mature man and gossip with the travel card in the reverse. Something didn't move forward with you guys. Um, it could have something to do with someone's personal life, whether or not it's children or not, um, as well as. Figuring out, I think, what kind of person you want to have in your life. Um, I feel like someone that you're dealing with um, is really immature. And they like attention. Something hasn't really moved forward. Maybe some, someone's trip is going to be delayed. Uh, maybe some issues with the plane. But there is a lot of gossip in this situation. I honestly feel like some of you guys are dealing with someone who gossips a lot. Like, because she likes attention so much. And some of you guys are like, uh, nope, can't relate. Think things through. You have addressed your addictions in reverse. Begin to explore. And make necessary sacrifices. Speak up. Hmm. Engage in higher reasoning. So your higher self, your guides, whoever you talk to. There's something you need to say to someone. Maybe it was a rumor. Maybe you need to think about what you're going to say ahead of time because... Someone could be under the influence. Maybe you guys are drinking. Maybe you need to tell someone. Maybe it's a job that you'd like to take some time off because you'd like to go on a trip. You know, and I think this is something some of you guys have thought about this for a long time and you haven't been able to go anywhere. You haven't been able to do what you want. And there's all this bullshit around it, but... I think that if you're worried if you are going to save enough money or if you're going to be able to go on this trip, you'll be just fine. But you just speak into existence, you know, speak up at your job. You have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And then you deserve love. You are lovable. Some of you guys still haven't released an ex that was pretty toxic in your life. Um, it could be a soul tie. Separation time from your partner is on the horizon. Express your love. Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. Some of you guys aren't with this person anymore because you haven't decided what you want. So then it comes into your into your life. And some of you guys are so used to dating the same kind of people. Maybe the same kind of people keep popping up in your life. I think that if you have these feelings for someone that you're not with um, and you're not sure if you should, you know, ask this person on a date or maybe someone's going to get flowers, you know, <clears throat> I think that this would be something that you should go ahead and do. Um, you're going to learn something. Maybe some of you guys have been single or maybe if you spent enough time alone you're going to realize something about yourself in a relationship. 
Um, take the time to think about everything. Um, I would be very careful um, what it is that you're telling people. Someone could be talking to um, someone in your life that you're unaware of. I just feel like they're telling someone something in your life. And it's just really unnecessary. It's like everything's being all hush-hush, but where's the direct, you know? You have the tower card. King of water. I mean, the emotions are here, you know? I just think it's hard for you to say it. Ten of air. Because something is going to end or did end really unexpectedly. Eight of water. Because this was something you needed to walk away from. This was something maybe from the past. Um... <laughs> With the sticks of fire, it's like you're really in your head about this. But I feel like your guys' head's going to be clearing a little bit, you know. Um, you're not going to have so much... I was going to say fatigue. Some of you guys might be just exhausted to the point where you can't really think rationally. Um, so I would recommend, you know, getting some sleep, doing the meditation, um, and thinking about all of this. But... You're, you're going to be able to think clearer because there's something from your past, um, maybe someone from your past um, that was going to be calling you or it's going to be messaging you. Um, and they do want to come back into your life because they see you getting a lot of attention. But the only thing about this that I don't like is this person seems a little bit narcissistic because the only reason they're coming back is like they're going to call you when they see you um, moving on. Because you're getting attention from someone else, basically. When this person didn't really um, do the things that they needed to do in this connection with you, maybe they never told you how they felt about you. Maybe they just left. Maybe this person didn't really love themselves. You know, they, for some of them, they were in a commitment with someone else. And then they had a baby with someone else. Someone just doesn't want to make the same mistakes again. Like, you know, you don't want to look stupid again. You don't want to have another child again with someone like this. You have the fish chakra archangel Gabriel. You're having a hard time revealing or putting into words. Some of you guys are going to be coming out of these financial strengths that you have been in, however. A woman holding the heart. Some of you guys don't even feel it. It's like you look at this person more as a father figure than um, a partner. Maybe there's someone that's way older than you that you don't want to be seen in public with because you're afraid of what people will say. And I don't think it matters, you know. Love is love. If you have feelings, you know what I mean? The magician in the mirror. Things aren't very clear to you. And you're, some of you guys' third eye is a little bit hazy. You have the angel of strength. And there's some illusions going on here. I think that someone is making it seem like in this situation, everything. Maybe they're like constantly complaining like, I do all of this. But in reality, they really don't. If you were to sit back and, and think about things, the real way, not what this person constantly says to you. Because they're not, obviously not in the right place. But, I think some of you guys know that it's just time to move on from old shit. It's time to let bygones be bygones. Um, walking away from things that no longer serve you. You know, some of you guys have been in this scenario where there's just been all these people, all these choices for so long that it's just caused you to be stagnant. You know, caused there to be a lot of people talking because there were a lot of people involved. It got messy. You were unsure about who was your soulmate, who was the person for you. It was only in the separation did someone finally decide that they want to tell you how they feel or vice versa. You have awareness give back intention in reverse when you're setting your intentions to manifest I think something is off that's what's keeping this from moving forward 
Um, there are some hidden blessings around you that are going to be coming up, but I feel like when the compassion card comes up reverse, you guys need to have compassion for yourself. As much as you show other people, you should be showing yourself. There's definitely a choice that you guys need to make. Um, maybe you could go for a walk outside in nature. You know, maybe it's time to spend some time alone. Um, buy some water, running water. Um, taking care of yourself is also important. Um, some of you guys that haven't yet to say anything. And it's like you've been wanting to say something for a very long time, but... You haven't. Victim consciousness in reverse. Inner child in reverse. And alchemy. Your inner child, um, you've got some issues that have caused you this anxiety you have in your head. Like it's hard for you to get out of your head and say things out loud. Um, your inner child does need some healing. Um, while you're no longer, you know, playing the victim to an extent, or maybe this person. But at the same time, you're also manifesting in lower vibrational things because your intentions or your subconscious intentions, I should say, there's still some issues in your deep subconscious with your inner child and whatever consciousness you had as a child because of what happened to you um, has a lot to do with how you manifest things now. But would you, with you getting to the place in your life where you're able to speak out loud about how you feel about um, what you'd like to do, how you'd like to move forward. Um, I think that it's important for you to do something that nurtures your own soul. Um, our inner child is just begging for us to show it love and compassion, you know, um, realizing that, you know, um, the consciousness, the levels of consciousness. It's like some of you guys will vibrate so high and then boom it's like right back down it's like you can't maintain it because of external internal issues there's something that you're missing here you know um this we can move up once we kind of learn our lesson but it's almost like there's something that you keep going back to um that really is um not <laughs> Not a good person in your life, but for whatever reason, I feel like you guys love this person. Um, this person wants something from you, you should probably know. Their intentions aren't in the right place. Um, they talk about you quite a bit, and I don't think it's in a positive way. I almost feel like it's one of those things where this person will talk bad about you to other people to make them not like you but they're not really saying that to you while you love this person you also know how toxic this is and that it needs to change things need to be different this person could be married to someone else and they're telling their wife all of these things but they forgot to mention, you know, where they were last night or whatever. You know, not really taking responsibility for their part in all of this. Two of Pentacles. Juggling a little bit. Three of Pentacles. The more you work at something, the more you communicate your needs, wants, desires, the magician, I think that things could get better. It's going to be a little bit easier for you. I feel like your boss is going to be noticing um, something about your work ethic. <clears throat> With the Queen of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, I think that um, you have an idea about doing something, or maybe this person does, but it's like the Queen of Cups looks like she's offering her love to someone else. Knight of Cups in reverse. It's like their emotions cause some type of ending. I think someone was really manipulative. Um, they could be with another water sign. With the Eight of Wands. I think this person talks to you about their problems with another person. 
King of Swords in reverse. Seven of Wands in reverse. Somehow they always get you to put your guard down. Get you to focus on them. The Wheel of Fortune. Ten of Cups, the Three of Wands in reverse, and the Five of Swords in reverse. It's like, it's time to be honest about what makes you happy, you know? No longer waiting for a situation where you know there's a lot of mind fuckery going on here. Um, because it's not like you're really making the decision to choose this person long term when there's all these other people involved. Someone just wants to go somewhere where they're wanted, where they're appreciated. You know, yes, this is your soulmate. Um, yes, they feel like you deserve love in the highest form, but you have yet to say anything. You have your own kind of battles going on here. But the Two of Cups and the Ace of Swords in reverse, are we lying or are we just not talking about it? Justice in reverse and the Devil. Something is kind of toxic and on something could just be sex base seven of pentacles in reverse and the queen of swords i feel like someone you know you don't really want to put the time in this but there could be some soul ties here ten of wands queen of wands and the four of swords in reverse and then it kind of puts a little bit more stress on your on your shoulder or this person and they're kind of leaning towards <laughs> It's almost like you get rid of one, there's another one. It's like you have too much going on. Eight of Swords in reverse and the Five of Cups. King of Wands in reverse. This person needs to figure out what they want. They need to make this decision because it's like really lopsided. But there's really only one connection here. But this person is not even a part of any of this. Someone's like... Time is completely consumed by maybe children, their job, and outside people. Where it makes people wonder what it is that you want or if you're doing this on purpose. Temperance in reverse, three of cups in reverse, and the five of pentacles. I mean, maybe the advice would be to cut some people out or make a decision. If you want to be happy or maybe some of you it's leaving a relationship. Some of you guys don't need to be in a relationship until you heal. Because I feel like old wounds are still a factor here. But you keep kind of ripping off the same band-aid. So I don't really know whose fault. Because you keep having these third parties or someone does in your energy field. And that's still a really big factor in this situation. Maybe you're trying to find your soulmate. Maybe you didn't realize that that's who this person was. You know? Um, maybe you need to be honest about what you require for someone to be in your life. You know? Um, I just think that it's not it's not like this person wants to be away from you or they want, you know, there to be all this conflict. I think that someone just wants to have the security and stability knowing that, you know, they're not just one of seven people, you know, um... It's really hard for you to open up about how you feel, but you still are in a relationship that is bound to crash and burn at some point simply because there's been, this has been blocked for so long. It's like no one's made a move, no one's done anything. You know, it's time to kind of figure out what you like, what you want. And uh, be honest about it. You know, I know you guys don't like emotion or having, or maybe it's just hard for people to understand your emotions, but at the same time, no one lives in your head. Some of you guys mistake love for lust quite a bit. Um, it's 
you have people watching you, especially at your job. Um, I don't know if they want to get you in. Are you sleeping with someone when you're at work? I don't. It's none of my business. I'm going to leave that alone. But I just think that um, you guys kind of sound messy, some of you. I don't know who it is, but... Be honest to the people in your life if you don't want a relationship with them, if you're low-key bisexual, if you um, like to do certain kinky things, if some of you guys need to spend some time on your own and kind of leave people alone because are you helping or hurting them at the end of the day? If you know they have feelings for you and... You don't want to. You don't. You don't want them in that way. You don't see them in that way. You have guardian. You guys are being guided, but it has something to do with boundaries. Time to set those or stick to them because there's a trigger here that's preventing your growth. Um, hard for you to accept unconditional love or have the confidence in your life to kind of model that behavior or that person for some of you. Some of you guys need to take care of yourselves. Some of you need some sleep. Some of you guys need to move because it's like whatever situation you're in isn't good for your health at all and these people don't respect you. They want something from you. They want. It's a big trigger for you. Um, that I don't think is going anywhere. I think it's kind of a toxic environment for somebody. Um, you know, a lot of things being lied about. A lot of things being done outside a relationship. That just needs to end, you know. Because you're kind of missing an opportunity with someone maybe that was meant for you because you're back and forth with this person. Um, you just refuse to release this person and give up the control because I mean, just someone, it's like someone's engaged and still has a lot of baggage from their past, um, still hasn't forgave or learned anything. Um, It's, it has a lot to do with a marriage for some of you. Um, an ex um, kind of blurred lines about what is true love for you or, you know, these, do you need to, you're going to maybe, someone's going to catch someone cheating. It's like there's a new beginning here, but it's like someone doesn't believe that this situation could be long term because they don't have a lot of hope in it, but... I just think that there's a lot of things being said outside the box, but when it comes down to like the actual scenario, I don't know what the intentions are, or what that means. I would just be aware of the things that are going on around you, you know, and that you might be missing an opportunity because you're unsure of what you want or if you want to be single or maybe you've got some addictions, maybe a sex addiction for some of you. I'm not throwing shade, but maybe you're scared. It's time to connect with, you know, your higher self and take, take care of yourself to kind of you know, um, build your energy back up because I think some of you guys are in a very low vibration and you have yet to mourn over things that you know are dead and, and gone. You don't want to accept that this is over. Maybe someone else doesn't want to accept that it's over, that it can't be worked out. Um, 
it's hard for you to forgive and forget this situation with this person but it's important for you to choose your friends wisely because there are some people around you that are really not good people and I think that you have no idea what's actually said because someone does things behind the scenes <laughs> so I feel like you're being manipulated in a way and you don't even realize it but they prevent anyone new from coming into your life so it's like they're keeping you around basically in this little fishbowl and causing havoc everywhere else. I don't know who y'all are fucking dealing with, but that is not the one for you, okay? If you think that, it's not. Um, it's really toxic, actually, and it's... I don't even know what it's based on. Sex and money? I don't... I'm not sure for some of you. You know that you don't love them, and you know that... <laughs> mm. You have feelings. Maybe it's just hard for you to discern because the sex is good. All right, I don't need to know their business. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.